Welcome back everybody, this is the Mad Salvi coming to you with more stuff on Nidisandi related things. Today we're going to look a little bit more on the economic side and see is it even viable to become a member of Nidisandi or if it is even a good idea at this point just knowing the way that they have been. Let's take a look. First in line is a job posting that Nidisandi itself made for their next entertainment factory. I find that name kind of ironic right now that we know that they are pretty much mistreating a lot of their staff, a lot of their VTubers, in the sense that they aren't giving them the emotional support that they need, the support for even doing their regular stuff that they need, as we found out through Zion Lanza and other people. This is for an overseas business translation part-time job. Recruitment information. This part-time job, wide scope, including various translation work. They want you to know Korean and Chinese at this. It's requirements of Japanese English proficiency at a business level and above. Uh, they want, like I said, the welcome requirements are Korean and Chinese language skills. People with good communication skills, people who are good at managing their own translation tasks, which basically means that they're, you're not going to have any management as well. So they're, they're, they're going with their theme that they've always been doing. People are particular about quality, such as being accurate and polite language and double checking both in Japanese and English. I guess Elira isn't cutting it for them. Uh, if we were to believe what the rats are saying, Illyria needs a little bit of help, I guess. Hourly wage, 11, 13 yen. Full amount paid separately for transportation expenses. Employment period, updated every three months. Working hours, 10 to 2100. That is, that is a long time. That's 11 hours. That's 11 hours of work. For those who can work five or more hours a day, 20 more hours a week. So that is 11 hours of work for minimum wage. That for even someone that's doing part-time work, even for an intern, that is a lot and in many states over here in the United States, that is in fact illegal as far as I know. It is preferable that you can come three or more days a week on, on weekdays. Negotiable, there is no work on Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. Work location, Rapongi office, the head office, may I switch to remote work. And what they want, they want students who are enrolled in a university, graduate school, vocational school, or technical college, and are scheduled to graduate after March 2025. So they want people who are adults who already have a lot on their plate, who already have a lot of things that they're worried about and working on for you know school projects, and they want you to work 11 hours a day for them as well, which is kind of on brand with Niji Sanji from what we've been hearing. Uh, this isn't to be unexpected, I guess. Uh, working adults and those under the high school age are not eligible. So basically anyone who is actually has a job and who actually knows their worth, I guess, is the way I see it here. I may be a little bit too rough, as you may think, but um, I think they deserve this type of uh, skepticism. Of course, I am trying to be as reasonable as I can because that's what I always try to do, but always deal with these things with a bit of skepticism and make sure it is legal with your local laws. And of course, people are reacting to this. People are saying 10 to 2100. Man, I would love my 11 hour workday for a whopping 1113 yen. That isn't even $10 an hour nowadays. That is ish. That is pretty bad. Hey, it's a part-time job, an 11-hour workday, negotiable every three months. How high is the chance that you will be lowballed even more because you worked less than 11 hours in a part-time job or didn't meet other convenient metrics? 99% maybe? <laughs> they're pretty putting that 99% out there. Also, did I understand correctly that they're expecting to see only students? That screams as we look for passionate but ultimately vulnerable and experienced people for our scam. That is pretty much, I think, what they're saying without actually saying it. Uh, I'll be a little bit less rough. They want people, like I mentioned before, who don't understand uh, how the working culture works because a working adult already knows has had experience, at least with even part-time jobs, even regular jobs. And they understand 11 hours a day is not a part-time job. 11 hours a day is overtime in most places over here in the U.S. It is like that. It is not a place for uh, regular people even to want to be working that way. It shouldn't be this way. It says, yes, students only with business level English and Japanese and proficiency in two other languages. Heck, I'm only proficient in two languages myself. That is insane. Being, being with four different languages is Pretty bad, pretty crazy. Hiring anyone who fits this criteria is going to be challenging as it is, but they have to be a student working for minimum wage. You have a better shot hiring a little unicorn. And I agree. And that shows you what how they are seeing these things. You hire a college intern, you pay the minimum wage. You ask them to work 11 hours a day. You offer a temporary contract. You fire them after three months. They expect professional results. Said intern does a terrible job. Surprise, Pikachu face. Of course, the intern is not going to do a great job. That's what interns are for. Interns are meant to be trained. They're not meant to be professionals in their field. They're meant to be trained. That's what they're an intern is for. And going further along with the business practices of Niji Sanji, uh, we are taking a look at the specific. We're taking a look at the specifics 
of each of these people and their streaming. Of these people that they popped out here, Rosemary Love Lock has, has the most amount of people, which is 24, 23, which is amazing. Any of these people, I think a lot of people would be jealous to have their numbers, but compared to the numbers they had before and compared to the numbers on the left of people on Hollow EN or even, you know, Hollow Live in general, I think even Hollow Stars were getting better numbers than they were a lot of times. It kind of gives you an idea of how things are going for them. You have um, Aya, who I was told by someone that is more of a niche person, 474. You have Fulger, who probably had more than 16, 1600 before, 678 for Mario Marionette, who, you know, even if they are working for Niji Sanji, I will say this and I will say it again as many times as I have to. They are regular people working hard at their job. They don't deserve any harassment. They don't deserve any mistreatment. They don't deserve anything negative. They're already suffering the consequences of being part of a company who doesn't care about them. But the consequences should be limited to things like this, to low numbers should never actually go into personal lives and should never actually go into harassment of the liver. Just wanted to put that out there. And continuing with the statement that I meant before, this is going more into the super chats that someone that some of these people had. We had Anna Alouette, who before had 2,500 in uh, 22024 and 1,500 below that for her birthday, 4,000 for the birthday concert and 4,000 for uh, the birthday Zatsudan. And these are things that she received now. And according to, um, this is all before YouTube's cut, of course. And it's also before Nidhi San cuts and taxes which i believe anna at one point was complaining that this was like half of what she normally receives and that's what happens when the company is going through a bad pr moment going through be bad times like i said it's not necessarily directly tied with the liver themselves or a reflection on how hard their work their work ethic it is just you are now tied to a sinking boat you are tied to a company who has low confidence who people have low confidence in, and there are going to be some consequences related to that. Those consequences will go to not only you, but other livers as well. In this case, Victoria, Victoria Brightshield, who only had uh, 11,000 views in the last seven days, and Kunai Nakasato, who also only had 3,800 views in the last uh, seven days, and you can see their numbers down below. Uh, compared to last year, you know, year on year, things are going down for them because people just don't have that confidence anymore. And I wish them the best, I truly do, because like I said, every VTuber, big and small, is working hard to entertain. These people are working under bad conditions as it is, and they're working under worse conditions right now because of the fact that people are going into their chats and saying mean things. I don't want anybody doing that from my community. I don't want anybody doing that from any other community. Let them have their streams in peace and let them have their moments where they are able to enjoy it with their community as long as they haven't been you know actually actively harassing someone else as well you can call them out on it like i am but just leave them in peace for the most part thank you of course this was just my opinion this was just what i thought about the situation i hope you enjoyed watching and also let me know down below what you think about this let me know your opinions on the whole thing let me know if you think i was going too far if i think i didn't go far enough if you think I was being too nice to the uh, to the talents because I'm a VTuber myself, if you think I was giving them too much credit, let me know. That's what this is all about. That's what the community is all about. I want to hear your words and I want to hear your opinions on this whole thing. Comments are down below for that. Of course, also my socials are in the description. Discord is a wonderful place that I want you guys to feel welcome to join at any point in time if you want. It's a nice, comfortable place. We try to keep it free of drama. We have a section for it, but we try to keep it free of drama where you can just enjoy yourself and talk to other people who are like-minded and who enjoy VTubing and enjoy other things. Finally, um, I will have a video up on the screen of any other video that I've done recently and something that will best fit you, of course. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your days, your morning, evening, afternoon, whichever one it is in your area. And thank you so much for being a part of this community and for watching this this content that I created. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.